markup languages. Now, what is selectors? Uh, all backend developers don't know what is selectors. Selectors are nothing. They are simply paragraph you use, headings you use, anchor tag you use. Whatever the tag you use, the predefined tags like p tag, a tag, hash tags, all these are selectors. Like uh, div is also a selector, but we don't call it inside. Uh, we don't call it as a selector particularly. But you can say it's selector. Like if you are making a class and then you are using dot class and uh, dot div, dot div, not dot div, just dot class and div. Then you, here you can call it selector. But if you are using div, then p, p is a tag. Then here p is a selector. P for paragraph. P is be used for paragraph tag. Like h1 is a selector. As paragraph p is a selector, a is a selector. The combinators, what the combinators tell you relationship between the selectors and your markup languages. Uh, basically, actually, we are very much confused about the combinators. These four types are combinators, and we are very confused about all these. Uh, I'm just trying to make you clear that. Don't know if you able or not. Uh, first, descendant selector. Second, child selector, adjacent sibling selectors, and general sibling selector. First, let me take my the Descendant selector. This definition, the descendant selector matches all elements that are descendants of a specified elements. What does it mean? Can anybody of you tell me? I'm asking to Priyanka. Um, after the specific elements come. Basically, selectors are something that we are using after the document elements. Yeah. We are using div, we are using paragraph, paragraph is using before, after the document elements, we are using descendant. After. Yeah, exactly. This is after. Whatever comes immediately or inside any any div or any paragraph, we call them <coughs> descendant. Like uh, parent and children. So, so you call them, all children are descendant of your parents. You can call them. But immediate, you just uh, get a difference. Uh, there is a child selector and descendant selector. Descendant selector, just read it carefully the definitions. They are immediate, they are descendant of the specified elements. It just means, uh, it is a technical language definition. I am just making it clear that it means, descendant selector means, Descendant selector means just immediate or inside the any div or any paragraph. It is a program, just focuses. Whatever we do right for CSS, we do right it in style. Okay, that style always comes into the head. I just skip the HTML log, log type HTML code, and then it will be closed HTML. I just write on the head part and the body part. Basically, we have to focus on that only. Uh, in head part, I have applied style, style div p. This div, we all know why we use div p. P stands for paragraph tag. In p, background color sky blue. Whatever the uh, color or property you can give here. How it will be work? Div inside div, I have used three. One paragraph, second paragraph, and then third paragraph. But the third paragraph I have used inside the span. And then after this div, this div is closed over here. After this div, I have used two paragraphs, paragraph this and paragraph this. Okay. Now you just tell me that uh, on which which paragraph the following property will be applied. Paragraph one and two. Okay. Four or five to show you. Okay. Any more answers? <laughs> yes, and also paragraph three. Paragraph, yeah. Okay. No. It will be only applied to one and two. Why? Okay. Why? I have just make it clear that focus on the immediate children. Not all the children. Immediate children only. If this paragraph according to DOM element, how it will how its DOM will be created? First of all, either head separated. In body, first in body, div, inside div. P, P, then span, then this is P. So this is not immediate children of that div. This is not immediate children. Clear it? Span is the immediate children and P is the immediate children of that div, but this P is not. So the CSS will be applied only this and this. Let's result. Yeah. Yes. Now actually, 
ये रिजल्ट गलत है नहीं ये ठीक है। जितने भी प्लेस होंगे उन सब में आ जाएगा। हमने डिप का टी बोला था। वो डिप प्लेस तो टी है। हाँ डिप का टी है वैसे। लाइव है सामने लाइव है ना। नहीं सही है। ये जो हरी बोला था वो सही है। हाँ हाँ। लिसन डेट में जितने भी पी हैं वो सारे आ गए। Not immediate childrens, all the childrens. Okay. Child selectors में only the immediate childrens. Child selector, just a positive of that. You can explain. <laughs> now you can explain. Child selectors, now it will only only take the immediate children. Like in these two, in this paragraph, P, P, all the children they have, we have applied the CSS. But in child selector, only the immediate. Like this one and this one. But this one is not the direct children of this dip, so the style will not be applied into that paragraph. First or second? First or second? Adjacent sibling selectors? Just read out the definition. The adjacent sibling selector selects all the elements that are adjacent siblings of specified elements. Uh, just, just a second, forget it and read it. Sibling elements must have the same parent element and adjacent means immediately following. What does it mean? If I am using a div and inside it I am using a p, then all these p are direct children of that div. But siblings means if I am using div inside it p, whatever so on. Sibling means after that do whatever I am what using. Therefore, we are called siblings. This div is closed over here. This program is a good thing. This is a good thing. Like this div is closed over here. This p is the adjacent sibling of this div. This p is the sibling. Why is it is sibling of these p? Because these p's are the another children of these div, and these p's are the children of the direct as body. So in this, in that case, adjacent sibling selector. In that case, if I use the same program, then CSS is applied to. Which div? Which P? 4, 5, 5. 4, 5, both. Only to immediate siblings. Immediate siblings are only this P. This is not the immediate sibling. This one only the immediate sibling. Adjacent sibling selector only means the single elements. Whatever I use after that div or after that class. If I have used any class and after that class, whatever the P or any selector I have used, the uh, styles will be applied to that only. How to define that? So the first occurrence will be. Uh, the, uh, the first the occurrence. Uh, the first occurrence of the P that will be applied. <laughs> so how to define that? How to? Define this. Like div arrow P. Uh, the tilt was the same. General sibling selectors. General sibling selector. It will take all the siblings after the div elements. As sorry, that defined with plus and this is defined with tilde sign. इस तरह कितने से लोग जाते हैं? Making it correct. नहीं अभी तुम्हें पढ़ा end में सही रहे. रिकॉर्ड कर रहा है। ठीक है। इधर जनरल सिब्लिंग सेलेक्टर्स डेट विल डेफिनेशन। द जनरल सिब्लिंग सेलेक्टर्स लाइक ऑल द एलिमेंट
and adjacent sibling selector only selects the immediate siblings and it will select all the all the siblings uh, so this style will be applied to both the p's p paragraph 3 and paragraph 4 Now let's come to CSS three transforms. Uh, the name as recognize itself transformation. A transformation is an effect that letters an element change shape, size, and position. And CSS three transforms allow you to translate, rotate, scale, and skew elements. CSS supports two D and three D transformations. We are coming to one by one. 2D transformations methods translate, rotate, scale, skew x and skew y. First, the translate method. What it do? Translate. It just only uh, translate the. It just on, you can say. It just only move the div with using x axis and y axis. Just only move the div. Whatever the pixels I have given in x axis and y axis. Now uh, let's suppose translate. Translate. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. X-axis I have moved 150 pixels and I have moved 100 pixels. Then this div, if I don't use this only, then this div must be started from here 0 to 0. But if I am using translate and using these pixels, then it it is moved by 150 pixels by x and 100 pixels by y. So these transformations are dependent on the browser. Yes, I have made. I have used the. If you use margin left and margin top, then you don't know why there is 150 pixel and when. If you specifically, it's not move around. 150 pixel and 100 pixel. How will you do? Margin, if I move one point to 150, margin top, if I move 150, then it will move. Margin left, if I move 100, then it will move. Which one will be higher? I don't know. animations obviously we cannot create yes, them by using animations okay to wo uske liye iska use case this is really we can use that or else we just use margins and we cannot use margins and animations we can use but it becomes complicated you have to define the dimensions you have to mention the rotations with like transition animation jab aap dekhte ho usme bahut sare effects hote hain to margins usko kitna change kar paoge you have to define each and every pixel अगर तुम करोगे बट इसके थ्रू वो इस पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन तक जो तुमने डायमेंशन दिए ऑटोमेटिकली रोटेट करेगा एक से दूसरी पोजिशन रोटेशन रोटेट मैथड एज यू आर वॉचिंग इट रोटेट योर डेव पर्टिकुलर एंगल ट्वेंटी डिग्री और थर्टी डिग्री इट रोटेट योर डेव क्लॉक वाइज नॉट एंटी क्लॉक वाइज 20 degree clockwise, 20 degree, 40 degree clockwise, 120 degree clockwise. <coughs> scale method is just scale your scale, zoom in or zoom out. Simply you can call scale zoom in or zoom out. The original div is inside div. If you scale that into that div, this we call transform. Transformation is <coughs> scaling. Sorry, scaling. The scale is only just uh, by zoom in and zoom out. हाँ पर what will be the center the zoom is going to the center point ना it हाँ it will zoom with height and width 
you just give the height and width like first your devil is taking any height or width randomly then it like 100 pixels and 120 pixels so it will make first your div height is 50 50 pixel then again your div height it will create 100 pixels and 150 pixels if you use height and width you don't use origin for that so does scale use parameters Parameters, height and width it use? Two parameters. Mm, height and width. Skew X and skew Y. Um, Sometimes you have make a triangle like a parallelogram. You just stretch it. Stretching we call rotating, you just simply rotate a thing. And stretching, you just stretch a thing. Stretching we call skew. Skew X and skew Y. There is no shorthand skew property. You have to use skew X and skew Y. Uh, even in W3 school, we, uh, there is skew property, but it is not applied every, anywhere. Skew X or skew Y, you have to use it separately. Like rotate, you can use. Uh, it, you don't need to use rotate X or rotate Y. You can both. You can give both the dimensions with rotate. In scale, also you can give both the dimensions with scale and uh, translate. In translate, also you can give dimensions X and Y. But in skew x and skew y, you have to use them separately. This is not shorthand skew. This is stretching. This is skew x and skew y we call. This is skew x and this is skew y. 20 degree, 20 degree, I have if you stretch or dip, it will seem like this. Browser support. <laughs> These are only the browser that supports transformations. Hmm? Hmm? I push the body. I push the body. I push this is three transitions. Okay. Uh, transitions, read the definition. <laughs> <laughs> this is three transitions allow you to change property value smoothly from one value to another value over a given duration. Uh, finally, properties and value, I think now we are getting properties. What are properties like? Uh, there is your color, your border, uh, your font size, your font colors, anything can be a property. By using transitions, you can change them. Like if I am applying the font size 12 on the paragraph, and by using uh, transitions, I can use uh, font size 14 on the same paragraph. I'll make it more clear. Uh, transitions will make not only font size, and any property you can apply transitions. Uh, there are some there are some properties. Uh, with that we use in transitions that is transition transition delay it will be more clear to you when i show you an example of this here i can't show you example of this uh, transition transition delay transition duration and transitions property transition timing function transition a shorthand property for setting four transitions property into a singular into a single properties uh, transition i use i just show you example demo for transition if i am hovering on that it is changing so kya se lega mera phone lag gaya mera bhi mujhe aane dikh raha चल ठीक है उधर ही कर लेंगे पर इसमें होगा रहेगा अरे वो स्क्रीन पर दिखने से क्या फायदा है मेरा नहीं 
As I am hovering on that, it is changing their color, background color. कोशिश की थी मैंने चेयर लेके बैठने की नहीं बैठो अरे नहीं बैठ जाओ तुम्हें पता आगे क्या मिलती चले गए विंडो क्यों नहीं खोली? बंद नहीं किया। नहीं दंगे नहीं बंद नहीं। सारिया। सेव कर लोगे उसको। ट्रांजिशन। सेव कर लोगे उसको। ठीक है। हाँ वो ठीक है। वो पहले इसे वापस डेटाइल दे। सेव करोगे तभी तो रिफ्लेक्ट करेगा ब्राउज़र पे। हाँ तो रिफ्लेक्ट नहीं करना ना। इतना पता है मुझे। नहीं नहीं चलाना तो है। सेव करना नहीं आता। तो <laughs> 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 There I am using transitions. Background color two seconds is out. Is out. This is the property. I am just going to tell in the presentations uh, that duration, time, and uh, uh, transitions names. These are their properties. These are duration, time, two seconds. For two seconds, it will show its effect. Is out. There is, there are some transitions properties. Is out. Is in linear. All these are transitions properties. Is out properties. Why we use it? Uh, And presentations will go further. Then you will come to know that. So, uh, as WebKit, this is browsers specific. Ah, uh -huh, Web yes. WebKit is for uh, um, Chrome, Mozilla, Moz, or Opera Mini, and transitions any kind of browser. Right? Basically, transitions run everywhere. But uh, sometimes it happens that in Mozilla and Chrome, it uh, having some conflicts. Except Explorer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so basically, what is happening over here? First, the initial color is red. Whenever I am hovering on it, it will its color is becoming green. For how many time? For how much time it is green? For two seconds. It is the the time taken the time taken to become a green. It is two seconds. The duration time the call we call the time taken that we are use that uh, that it is taking to get color green. That is two seconds. इनिशियल 
at least the first if you are applying transitions then what we have done transitions background red then background green we just can difference between the timings 2 seconds 4 seconds 3 seconds but here you will be seeing the more differences like on 0% on 25% nodding on 45% nodding similarly you can change your properties on 0% 2% 3% 4% as well as you can scale like you uh, uh, yeah you know this is animation right yeah this is animation animation is true includes many more things first difference in transitions and animation they use keyframes and transitions don't use keyframes what are the use of keyframes the same i have told you by using keyframes only i have applied as many properties as i can but transitions don't use keyframes so I, they cannot apply as many properties as we want बीच में और भी फ्रेम्स है I just told you now in animations we use at the rate keyframe. What are these keyframes? You have to use like uh, you use class and IDs. These are the class, these are the IDs, so these are the keyframes. How to use them? <coughs> First, let me finish with the theoretical part. I am just uh, giving the demo for the same. Uh, keyframes uh, we can use keyframes as class. Keyframes and the cursor. I use keyframes like that. I will show you in demo. Okay. Keyframes specify the animation mode, which animation I am going to use, and the animation I use over here, the same class I use for animations. And demo you will be getting more clear. Right? Animation a shorthand property for setting all the animations properties. Animation delay. How much it, the delay will be getting in showing the properties? Animation direction in which direction it will go? Properties. Animation durations for how much time it will stay. The property will show their effect. Animation iteration count. This, this is the new one in animations. We don't use in transitions. What is that? Iterations. The animation power repeat करना होता है. For how many times we want to repeat any animations, we can give it over animation iteration count. If we give over here in finite. Infinite, so it will goes to infinite times. It will goes again and again and again and again. You see any animation on any web page that any uh, circle or rectangle is just moving or rotating. Then here we have used animation iteration count infinite. Now check it out. Animation name. The, I have told you earlier the class I have used in keyframe animation. The same class, the same name is the animation name. Demo me something. Draw the support for push friend especially. He asked that question, no? Is there any draw the compatibility? Transitions के लिए तो animations के लिए भी advance बता दिया। अच्छा दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल आई हैव यूज बोथ ट्रांसफॉर्म्स एंड एनिमेशन एनिमेशन आर बेटर टू बेटर टू गिव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एक्चुअली यूज इन एनिमेशन यू हैव आज नो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्जिन टॉप एंड मार्जिन लेफ्ट वाई वी डोंट गिव दैम वाई वी कॉन्ट यूज पिक्सल्स तो ही है By using margin left, margin top, we are not able to use animations in such good way. We can use by transforms. Yes. 
question part the question there are three div same class element then you got it that time this is the element class <coughs> background color blue kind here a uh, height width font size writing are all these are must be clear with to all of you fine animations and the animation role and this role where i have to define this role this role i have to define always at the rate keyframe role whatever the class i make over here the same property i use in animations this animation property is using by this at the rate keyframes see here 0% 100% 0% per what the animations what the transform i have given rotate zero this zero is a angle transform i in transform rotation i use angle 40 degree or 20 degree on 100% it will rotate 360 degree so basically it will rotating clockwise or anti clockwise clockwise okay if i want to uh, rotate minus zero minus 360 minus zero yes minus, minus 20 ha oh sorry zero ke to koi zarurat nahi hai minus 360 Zero works the same in positive and negative. तो आप तो तुम्हें पता ही है ना? That's what that's why I was focusing on the why why did you say minus zero? तो ये no ना zero cannot be negative. Okay, record वाला तो कुछ. ना क्यों देना था? अच्छा. See over here. I have told about this infinite count, infinite times. Six three seconds. The duration time. Six seconds. Two three seconds. Is that the pakka badega to me? Next two three seconds. Easy. These are the three dudes. Using class element, 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 they are rotating zero to zero degree, then three sixty degree, zero degree, then three sixty degree. Why they are rotating infinite times? Because I use infinite. I have no use any JS for that. Only CSS and HTML. Loading image, man, sir. अब तो तुम पक्के ही बाहर मिलना जरा. अब से उठा पाई कर लो ना अब तो जाएगा नहीं कहीं यहाँ पे क्लिक कर दो तुम भी कर सकते थे बस टाइम से डेमो तो डेमो तो डेमो दिए तो साथ साथ